says, can parents gift their children or one of them a property but with the condition that it should be theirs after the parent's death? This is something that a lot of the Muslims unfortunately do nowadays in order to reduce the amount allocated to their siblings. So usually if I have daughters and no sons, as in my case, two-thirds of my wealth will go to my daughters. One-eighth would go to my wife, if she's still alive. <laughs> May Allah give her long life. And the rest will be allocated to my siblings. A lot of the Muslims don't feel good about this and say, why should I work and then my brothers and sisters get the rest of my wealth? So what they do, they look at their property and they say, okay, daughter number one, you get this, daughter number two, you get this, no, no daughter number 10, you get this. And they distribute everything. But they don't want to give it to them while they're alive so that the daughters won't sell it and enjoy and waste the money or give it to their kids or their husbands, etc. So they make a condition. So they say, okay, this property is yours only after I die. This is not a valid gift. And if I were to die, every allocation of such gifts that were to be effective after my death would be void and the will would be torn out uh, uh, and thrown away. Why? Because if I give you a gift, it is not a valid gift until you have possession of it. So if I say to you, okay, next year is your marriage, mashallah, I will give you uh, five air conditioners, split units, 24,000 whatever. And you say you're happy, mashallah, next year comes, I've got the units in my house, and you get married, and you say, okay, give me my gift. I said, I changed my mind. You have no authority on forcing me to give you something because I just promised you. This gift is not valid until they have possession over it. So the gift that parents give to their children effective after their death is invalid. It's void, has no value, none whatsoever. And I hope this answers your question. Muhammad